Hey everybody, welcome back. So today's lesson is the mountaintop. This is as far as we're going to get, um, at least in this particular expedition, in object-oriented programming in Java. This is it. Uh, we've done, you know, objects, we've done inheritance, we've done interfaces, um, and we've done anonymous objects yesterday, and today's lesson fits in very uh, well with that. So what we're going to look at today is this idea of how can we clean up the syntax of those anonymous classes that we were using? So those seem kind of promising, but there's still a lot of like syntactic clutter there. Um, and so today's lesson is actually neat because it brings together something we learned about a little while ago, interfaces, something we learned about just a minute ago, anonymous classes, and then this new syntax in the Java programming language that allows us to express the logic in an anonymous class in a very compact form under certain conditions. So. Today's lesson is on Lambda expressions. Um, yesterday and today are on what I consider to be like fairly advanced topics. We wouldn't ask you to solve a programming question on an exam in, for a problem like this, but you will need to see these um, in some code that we're going to be looking at soon, and uh, you will have to sort of understand how they work. Um, they're also just super cool. So I hope you enjoyed today's, today's lesson. I will see you at the bottom.